Hi everybody, I'm Patrick. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I set up my tarp, big tarp with one motorbike and one tree available. So let's first check how much the weight of the tarp, including everything, is 493 grams. That's uh, where we're at. that's 7.17.45 ounces. Okay. These are the stakes for the tarp, eight pieces of MSR carbon core stakes, including uh, singet lines, 74 grams, and 2.6 ounces. This is the tarp I use for this setup. It's, this whole kit includes the Winter Palace tarp from Hammock Gear. It's a really big one. It's a Dyneema uh, or so-called Cuban fiber material. It has doors and camouflage cover color, so it's not so easy to see through it. It also includes snake skin from hammock gear. Uh, and I also have titanium hardware from Dutchware, so-called fleece on the tie outs. I have a continuous ridge line also from Dutchware, including titanium har hardware. I think it's called wasp in one end and Dutch hook in the other end. So don't ask me about price for all this. Uh, exclusive, the exclusive materials are amazingly light, but also very costly. Hope it lasts for uh, another 20 years, but I think, and I think it will. Okay, let's give it a try to set this tarp up using my motorbike as one part of the structure. I quite often end up in a situation where I just have one tree as I'm camping usually in nice, let's say, location and nice weather. I'm not the one going out in tough conditions. Okay, so I might end up in the beach and just want some sun protection and yeah, take a cup of coffee. Okay, here is the wasp from Dutchware. It's pretty neat actually. So, just like so. And I, lo I really like this snake in principle. As it, it's very easy to, to pack, undo and, and do the tarp. Of course, you can use uh, a higher, a higher setting of the ridge line, but uh, yeah. So ah, come on. So just start with the basic. Basic setting and see how it goes. And then optimize it. When put some shock cord here so I have kind of a some room somebody steps on it and uh, it might save the, the tarp I don't know I leave the 
hardware on the this fleece I leave on the tarp as they are not sharp and they will not destroy the tarp even if it's in the snake skin which I think is pretty good so there you go now it's on a quite low setting and of course if you want to have some nice space to unpack your gear or whatever you can do it like this And it's, re it's really huge under this tarp. I actually have a three people person mesh tent under this when I'm traveling. And I'll show you that in another video. So then you can, you can of course close the doors. If you set this a little bit different. You can also you can also close the doors like this yeah there you go okay then I'm gonna show you how I do when I want to let's say open up the doors have these two shock cords and just like that But when I think this system really comes into play, it's when I add this four season, three person, actually very spacey three person mesh tent under the tarp from Fjellraven. I just ordered the mesh tent itself and I ordered the carbon fiber tubes and made this setup myself. It's a little bit softer than standard, but as the ridge lines, will also play a part in the total structure, structure adding strength. In total that system is uh, optimized for light weight, still okay. So I'm gonna make that video showing that total solution uh, when I have time. So yeah, have a look, follow the channel. But wait a minute, let's say I'm out driving my motorbike, minding my own business. I suddenly feel I must have a cup of coffee and it starts just starts to rain and there are no trees around what should I do then I have to spend a couple of hours last last night and I made this little system it is 135 grams or 4.8 ounces so what it is it is First of all, a few carbon tubes. These are spare uh, carbon poles that I, same kind that I have in for my inner tent. And then I have to think who, which order it goes. I need a double structure here to keep the strength because these are too, too soft just as they are. Put a second on top. You put, put this locking thing so it, no, still have the strength uh, and then this final tube and then here it goes now this will not be a continuous ridge line uh, now this will uh, you know stretch on this hook so it will be the tarp itself that takes the strength okay to be honest this is the first time I do this I really hope it works like I thought Okay, let's see how I do it. Um, I was thinking I need two, two stakes to, 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 to have the strength that, that is needed. And I took this little bit, little bit uh, more robust ones instead of the carbon ones. 
maybe it's not optimal to put them at that distance maybe it needs to have another distance but okay let's let's give it a try oh you see here ah i i made it precisely okay i need to check if this now i have to stretch the tarp you now this is easy to move around later as i said this is the first time but bloody hell to be honest to be honest that that's that feels pretty good maybe it would be better to have a longer line here and put the stakes wider to have kind of a triangular so the the, the it splits here to a triangular version to give more strength sidewise but actually no the tarp itself gives that strength i have to say i am very happy about this it seems to work okay i don't think i will have any more ideas for now but don't miss my video where i show you how i put my three person mesh tent under it i think it's going to be really really neat here you see the total weight of 633 grams for the tarp and all the stakes and the extra pole and here the extra pole separately 135 grams the tarp with all the stakes and all the hardware of singit lines 499 grams and the stakes themselves with the singits 98 grams thanks for watching